I want everyone in the country to know a couple of things. One, we must act urgently, but we should not panic. We know that we are on the front lines of a spreading disease and that there will be a number, as testing is more wide scale, we expect it to capture a number of people who may be infected in this community. The good news is, is that most people who contract this disease contract a very mild form and recover. We don't have enough on the numbers yet, but we also know that there's some people who are at grave risk of this, and my condolences to all the families who've lost people and those who are very sick. So we have to take care of both the public health front and the economic front to make sure that we get through this in a positive fashion. Mayor Jerkin, I know you uh, are now proceeding with uh, a, an emergency. You've been able to declare an emergency for the city right now. Some schools have closed. We had Dr. Scott Gottlieb, the former FDA head, on our air yesterday, and he said we're days away from mitigation steps and that we need to start implementing measures for social distancing, closing schools, canceling large events, et cetera, <clears throat> in some of these areas where uh, the virus is... is um, where the numbers are continuing to increase, for example, in Seattle. What steps are you taking, and how would you expect that to continue to ratchet up in coming days? So you will see we've taken a number of steps, and since the outbreak in China, the whole region has been preparing for this. We have weekly meetings. Today I'll be meeting with the governor and the county executive and other officials here. Most importantly, we listen to the public health and scientific community to see what they think the appropriate steps are. There's a number of things we're still doing. Number one, if people are sick from work, we want them to stay home. We've worked with the large companies like Amazon and Microsoft, and we ourselves are an employer of over 15,000 people. We are putting ourselves, if people don't have to come into work and can work from home, we're encouraging that, and we may go to a mandatory state of that. So we are looking and, and working with the public health people to make sure that we dial this up correctly and really respond to this so that we can slow the spread of the virus and have enough in the health care system to take care of the people who are sick. Do you see school closures broadening out from here? We've taught, we've been in very close contact with the school officials who make those determinations uh, through the state and through the different school districts. They're observing it very closely. So far, we've not had any school that's had an infection there, but they're going to watch it closely. As we know, the number one group that is at most risk of this are seniors, 16 and above, and particularly older people who have other health problems. So we're really focusing our measures to make sure that we have the right social distancing and infection controls around those people to make sure that they do not uh, contract this infection.